yourself no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old fella like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm gonna cut up this way. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Doing the best I can. Hurry up and be quiet. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fifth. Wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh. What's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. Well, I ain't so sure now. Christ. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best. Shit, you hear that? Get your gun out. You, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what you used to be. What surprise? That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it. Move it. Keep moving! I'll move it up! Go! Go! Yeah! Yeah! 
What the? What the hell? I'm being robbed! Damn you goddamn robbers! Shit! <laughs> he knocked himself out! <laughs> Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> this is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Come on, girl.
Hi there, mister. Greetings. That's a strong-looking horse. Well, thank you. Easy, easy. Hey, I remember you. Come on over. We're working on a whole new batch. Had some ideas after last time. Got a whole new recipe. Gonna be so much better than the last one, let me tell you. We could really use some of the plant life growing nearby. Think you'd be able to help forage for it? I could help, happy to. I saw some milkweed nearby. Milkweed's got these uh, clusters of little pink flowers. Lots of flavors about with all these plants and herbs nearby.
So, what's on the menu? Toss what you got in the mix and we'll give it a taste. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. Well, all right, here goes nothing. Right with shine, not at all. Tastes like licking liniment. <laughs> uh, that ain't good at all. Ah, oh, well, can't win them all. We'll try again later. Damn. Well, I ain't miserly. You got us something at least. Grab some shine in that chest. Very generous, thanks. I'll that see you two around, I'm sure. See you around. Come on, the girl. Yep. Hey, partner. Hello there. That's a fine horse you got there. Thank you. It's okay, girl.
Hey there, partner. Damn, lunatic! It's all good. Calm down. You waste your time however you want. You goddamn maggot! I'll help you die! That's what you want! Okay, look, I'm done now, I promise. Yeah. Whoa. Keep away, freak. Ready to lose them teeth? Shit! Ay, mi madre. Damn. 
Not a damn thing here. You're gonna die, asshole. Nothing so far. Put this bastard in this grave. Still the. I want him down! Down! I spot him! Get him down! Son of a bitch! Christ! Hey, move it!
Your mama gon' yep. miss you, son. I saw your face. No need for the mask. That's right. Scram. Yeah. Good riddance, man. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, could you kindly remove the mask? Well, all right then, thank you. Paying it all off then. Good for you, I guess. I'm shocked you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. Okay, hey girl. You seem full of joys of spring, miss. Thank you. Hey, mister. Yeah. Howdy, partner. What's new? Don't think this day can get much worse. I'm just gonna go back. Hey, folks. 
You see this here? Hello there. <laughs> Lost your wind, countryman? <laughs> Looking for the cheapest whorehouse? <laughs> it's a even legs, ladies. <laughs> you spend you all day on cowboy? that one, huh? <laughs> hey, you deaf, mister? Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out.
This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Arthur, why are you going that way? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. 
Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, but you like that, don't you, Mary? I am ashamed of you, Daddy. Why are you doing this stuff? What's wrong with you? Listen, listen to me. Because I'm the one who's going to kill you. Hey, you, Ash! Hold her right there! God damn it! Boy lost his damn mind. 